Bars Monso, Mehmet Bars Monso, born Tassin Yusuf Mehmet Bars Monso, January 2, 1943, January 31, 1999, known by his stage name Bars Monso, was a Turkish rock musician, singer, songwriter, composer, actor, television producer and show host. Beginning his musical career while attending Galatasaray High School, he was a pioneer of rock music in Turkey and one of the founders of the Anatolian rock genre. Manso composed around 200 songs and is among the best-selling and most awarded Turkish artists to date. Many of his songs were translated into a variety of languages including English, French, Japanese, Greek, Italian, Bulgarian, Romanian, Persian, Hebrew, Urdu, Arabic, and German, among others. Through his TV program, 7070, from 7 to 77, Manso traveled the world and visited most countries on the globe. He remains one of the most popular public figures of Turkey. Bars Manso was born in Uskadar, Istanbul, Turkey on January 2, 1943. His mother, Riktu Yank, was a famous singer in the early 1940s. His older brother, who was born during World War II, was named Savish, war in Turkish, while he was named Bars, peace in Turkish, by his parents to celebrate the end of the war. At birth, he was additionally named Tosin Yusuf after his deceased uncle Yusuf called Tosin, literally, Joseph the Sturdy. However, this name was erased just before he attended the primary school. Manso was of partial Albanian descent. In primary school his head was shaven to prevent head lice, a serious threat back then, which he cited among reasons for his later signature long hair. During his high school days in Galatasaray High School, and later in Shishli Taraki High School, he formed his first band, Kafadar Lar, The Buddies, allegedly upon seeing Erkin Koray's band performing, all students of Deutsche Schule Istanbul, Istanbul Alman Lysisi, a nearby high school. Professor Dr. Asaf Savish Akat, a famous economist in Turkey, played saxophone, and guitarist Enter Enon made his own guitar because it was difficult to find Ariel 1 on the market in those years. In 1962 and 1963, with his next band, Harmonilar, the Harmonies, he recorded cover versions of some of popular American twist songs and rearrangements of Turkish folk songs in rock and roll form, marking the beginning of the Anatolian rock movement, a synthesis of Turkish folk music and rock. In this period, his key visual and musical influence was Elvis Presley. After graduating from high school in 1963, he moved to Europe, traveling around Paris and Liège, where he formed bands with local musicians and recorded some singles mainly in English and in French but also in Turkish. Then, in 1964, Bars Manso continued his studies at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in Liège, Belgium. He toured with his band Les Miss Tigris, not related to Miss Tigris, in Germany, Belgium, France and Turkey until 1967. In 1967, he suffered a serious car accident, after which he started to grow his signature mustache to disguise his scar. Frustrated by the difficulties of working with musicians from different nationalities, he formed Kegsler, The Carefrees, featuring Mazar Allenson and Fwat Gunner, future members of the band Vo. He recorded several singles and toured with the band, both domestically and internationally, until the band members revealed that they did not want to live abroad. In 1970, he formed Bars Manso Bay. Bars Manso and, again with foreign musicians, to record his first hit single, both in Turkey and in Belgium, Dagler Dagler, Mountains, Mountains, selling over 700,000 copies. Today, the song remains one of his most popular works. After the success of Dagler Dagler, Manso recorded a couple of singles with Malar. The Mongols, another influential Turkish Anatolian rock band. He then decided to return to Turkey where he recorded with the reformed Kegsler for a short period. In 1971, his early works were compiled under his first full length album Dundan Bugan, today commonly referred as Dagler Dagler. In 1972, he formed Kirtalan Express, a legend by itself, the band that would accompany him until his death. In 1975, until when he continued to release singles, he released his first non-compilation LP 2023, a concept album that includes many instrumental songs. As a last attempt to reach international success, he released the LP titled Barishman Cho, 1976, a strange transcription of his name, mostly with George Hayes Orchestra under CBS Records label, in Europe and South Africa. 
Although the album did not bring the fame he was expecting, it did reach the top of the charts in Romania and Morocco. The following year, the album was released in Turkey under the title Nick the Chopper. In 1975 he starred in the movie Baba Buys Ever Seen, Father Make Us Marry, which is the only movie he ever starred during his career. The music of the movie consists of a compilation of tracks composed by Bars Monso and Kirtle and Express. From 1977 to 1980, he released three more albums in Turkey, partly consisting of compilations of older singles, namely Sakla Saman Gelir Zaman, 1977, Yeni Birgun, 1979, and 20. Sonatal Disco Monso, 1980, all following a similar sound with 2023. All these albums are now rarity items, but most of the material from the era are available in later compilations been by Lairam and Sar Sismalai Memet Aga. In 1981, Mansa released Suzum McClissenser with Kurtalan Express, containing many hit songs including Alabeni Pulabeni, Arcadism Essek, Gulpambe, Halal and Donans among others. The album remains as one of their most popular works and launched a boost off popularity for Bars Monso during the 1980s. Arcadeism Essek, My Friend Donkey, quickly grew very popular among children. The song is about rural nostalgia and was not initially intended as a children's song. Throughout his career, he went on to write many other songs primarily for children to achieve an iconic acceptance among Turkish children of the 1980s and 1990s. On the other hand, Gulpembe, composed by Kurdalan Express bassist Ahmet Guvinj, a requiem for Monso's grandmother, caught older audiences and probably is the artist's most popular song, competing perhaps only with Dagler Dagler. In 1983, Estag Furola, Nihadamize was released. It contained hit songs Halil Ibrahim Sofras and Cold Ug Maleri, a new version of the artiste's first song. Halil Ibrahim Sofras exemplified Monso's signature moral theme lyrics, a rare feature in Turkish pop music. In 1985, 24 Ayar Mansa which included Gibi Gibi and a long conceptual song Lefriger was released. It also marked the beginning of the shift in Mansa sound characterized with the heavy use of synthesizers and drum machine in contrast with his older works consisting of a group-oriented rock-based sound. In subsequent years, Mansa released Digmes and Yagel Boya, 1986, Sahib Bintanithi Austin, 1988, and Dars Bazenza, 1989 all containing a couple of hit songs and demonstrating his new sound. In 1988, 777 from 7 to 77, a TV show directed and presented by Monso, began to run on TRT1, the Turkish state television channel. It was a combined music, talk show, and documentary program which was a major hit during the eight years it stayed on air. Monso traveled to almost 150 countries for the show. Adam Lakak Chichuk, a section of his show dedicated to children, strengthened Monso's popularity among the young generations. Although his fame continued in the 1990s thanks to the wide audience of his TV show, which was followed by all age groups, his musical works in this period were not as successful as those in the previous decades. The albums Mega Monso, 1992, and Musad Nizel Chojuklar, 1995, were considered the weakest efforts of his career, despite the limited success of the 1992 children hit A, The Bear. On the other hand, in 1995 he toured in Japan with Kurtalan Express, leading to Live in Japan, 1996, his only live album. He released two albums in that country with some recognition as the man who writes songs about vegetables, referring to Domates, Bieber, Patlican, Tomato, Pepper, Aubergine, and Nane, Limon Kabugu, Mint, Lemon Rind, two of his hit songs from the 1980s. On January 31, 1999, Bars Manso died of a sudden heart attack before the release of his just finished last work Mansology, Mansology or Mancology 1999, a double album containing the new recordings of his hit songs along with an unfinished instrumental song 40. Dottle, the 40th anniversary, celebrating his 40th year in music. His sudden death caused an almost unanimous shock in Turkey with millions of people mourning and tens of thousands of people attending his funeral. He was interred at Kamka Cemetery in Istanbul. Bars Manso was one of the most influential Turkish musicians. In his early career he and his bands contributed to the Turkish rock movement by combining traditional Turkish music with rock influences, which is still one of the main trends of Turkish popular music. His visual image, characterized by his long hair, 
mustache and big rings, softened the reaction of the otherwise conservative Turkish public opinion. Mansoor pioneered the progressive rock-influenced Anatolian rock movement in the 1970s. His experimentation with electronic instruments in the late 1980s contributed to the 1990s sound of Turkish popular music. His lyrics with diverse themes, mostly following a somewhat modernized version of the Ask, Wandering Folk Poets, tradition were heavily marginal in the popular music scene of the 1980s which was mostly dominated by love-themed lyrics. In 2002, a tribute album was released under the name Eurigine de Key Bars Sarkler, Songs of Bars, Peace, In My Heart, featuring 15 popular Turkish artists of such diverse genres like arabesque, pop and rock, both Anatolian and Western style, demonstrating his wide range of influence. With Harmonalar, with Jacques Don Jean Orchestra, with Lamus Tigris, with Kegler, with Bars Monsobe, with Molar, with Molar, Kegler, with Kegler. Lamus Tigris, with Kirtalan Express, with George Hayes Orchestra, Kirtalan Express, with Kirtalan Express. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.